So our next test for glycerol is uh, we will add some crystals of phenol to glycerol and then some drops of H2SO4 will warm it and then we will dilute it with so ammonium hydroxide solution. So a red color will appear. This test you do it carefully because we will be dealing with concentrated H2SO4 in this test. So first take 1 ml of glycerol. This is 1 ml of glycerol. Now to it we will add some crystals of phenol. Hmm. Both are OH compound but phenol is aromatic and glycerol is aliphatic. The problem with phenol is you have to break the crystal. I hope during your exam time it will be given in broken form. Otherwise you have to break it using a glass rod. So phenol crystals are added to the glycerol. White transparent crystals. Now we will add 6 to 7 drops of concentrated H2SO4 to it. And then we will simply and gently warm it. That's all. Now, heating concentrated H2SO4, be very careful. See, it is, has started reacting. There is a color change. See, it has started reacting. Okay. So, few more seconds heating and then we have to cool it. Now that is the most difficult step in this reaction because concentrated H2SO4 can elevate the temperature very much and now if you directly try to cool it there is high chance that the test tube will break. So it is better to keep it here for some minutes for air cooling then we will dilute it with NH4O. So I am keeping it for 2-3 minutes here. It will cool down and then we will uh, dilute it with ammonium hydroxide. So I kept this solution for 2-3 minutes. Uh, you can see this is a dark black solution. The reaction has happened. And now we will dilute it with ammonium hydroxide and we will see red coloration. Okay, That is our target observation. Okay, We are targeting the observation that we will get red color. That will confirm us that yes the compound is glycerol. So here is my ammonium hydroxide. It is cool. You hardly uh, need to keep it 4 to 5 minutes maximum. It will come to room temperature. Some more ammonium hydroxide will be required. Okay, so this is your uh, reddish coloration not exactly red but reddish type of color it is coming like this the intensity of color it depends on the quality of the reagents that you are using like the quality of glycerol H2SO4 the strength of ammonium hydroxide how much old it is or freshly prepared so depending all these factors the intensity of the color varies uh, it is in between like uh, orangish type of red, yellowish type. So that is the coloration and that's all for this test. In the next video we will come up with the next test of glycerol.